I was once asked what do you want to be in your next birth and my answer was I want to be a tree in the jungle because these trees have seen everything the darkest secrets of the jungle the evolution of its animals and the everyday drama they witness it all So after watching the peacock dance we continued our morning safari looking for the tiger Even though these grasslands look like open fields with easy to spot animals a lot of times you just have to keep waiting And to wait you must learn to enjoy the tiger search as much as you love seeing a tiger We reached near the Sambar road and looked at the water flowing. There was no news anywhere to any of the vehicles. Each of the eyes were looking for the tiger, but the valleys of Dikala seemed to go silent. Where did all the tigers go? Or are they here and we just cannot see? But if not the tiger we found a baby deer also known as fawn this young fellow is one of the cutest highlights from our dikala trip look how cutely he is grazing a very few days on this earth and he has already learned the skills of living in a herd for a spotted deer a herd can range anywhere between 10 to 50 individuals majority of these would be females as you can see here usually a herd has one or two males and a harem of females and young ones the young fawn like this one will usually walk or graze at the center of the herd with protection on both ends The reason is that the jungle is dense and there is danger all around. So the mother and the female members of the herd will ensure they encircle the baby to keep her safe. Throughout his lifetime, this fawn will go through a lot. He will have to learn to respond to the predator movement of the jungle, just like his elders. he will have to learn the art of identifying alarm calls he will have to fight its way up the herd to be accepted and most importantly he will have to learn to survive each day in this jungle but for now life is good for him There was an experiment done in Africa with lions using different sized fake animals and every time irrespective of the position of the animals the lions always chose to hunt the smallest member hence it is very important for the herd to protect the young ones because in this jungle there is danger all around After watching the baby deer for a while, we reached the main road and thought of waiting there. Someone mentioned about a tigeress roaring around that area, but nobody had seen a tiger yet. And here as well, we found a baby fawn. Not sure if the one we saw earlier was cute or this one. But yet again, you can see how this one as well is walking in between the group. That's the only way to keep the baby safe in a jungle full of predators. The other one was still protected by many deer, but this one just had a few around him. Look at them walk slowly with caution, not sure where to go.
Anyway, after the deer left, the waiting game started. This safari really tested our patience. Each and every jeep tried everything they could, but for some reason, the god was not being kind to us that morning. Okay, let me ask you something. What is that one thing that differentiates the trees from us? Even though they are living organisms too, they cannot move. But we saw a moving tree in Dekala. If you see this frame from our perspective, you would see a jungle where everything is static, but a tree is moving. And that tree is nothing but the strongest, the smartest and the greatest mammal of Indian jungles, elephant. Even though we understand why these domesticated elephants are important part of jungle conservation, as patrolling on their back makes it easier for the forest department to keep a close eye on the jungle and reach the areas where jeeps cannot. But it still hurts to see them like this. Thankfully though, in Dekala, domesticated elephants are well taken care of. Most of the time, they are not in chains and unlike in a circus, they are not beaten or trained to do something they are not born to. Looking at that moving tree reminded us of our sighting of this tusker from Thela zone of Jim Corbett. This is from the monsoons of 2021, when India had just recovered from its second COVID peak and we got an opportunity to visit this zone. Because it was rainy season, there were mud pools all around the park. And this elephant was enjoying a mud shower, getting rid of insects and keep his body cool during the hot hours of the day. Who doesn't like a mud bath in rainy season? reminded us of our carefree childhood days. Another elephant from Dela zone playing with water. As we humans believe that a house becomes a home because of its elders, Similarly, a farmland becomes a jungle because of its elephants. These giants are the pride of the jungle. Their existence seeks so much respect that we must strive to protect them. Their every move shakes the earth. We humans judge everything using the concept of relativity. We call something tall because we compare it against something short. We call something dark because we compare it against something light. Similarly, these elephants, even though a small part of this ecosystem, are the giant ancestors of our existence. Today, Asian elephants are fighting a war of their existence. Excessive poaching and cutting down of cities have spoiled their habitat. Some are forced to Nepal to find food, some die of hunger, and some become a target for poaching. God gifted them with these beautiful tusks to appreciate, not to use it as a trophy or sell in the black market. More than 100 elephants died during the years 2008 to 2011 as a result of poaching. Due to this reason, forest department has started cutting the tusks of elephants so that the poachers do not have a motivation to hunt them down. But is this fair? These moving trees of the jungle have to exist for the jungle to exist and there is only one way this can happen. Leave them alone and give them their share of space. This planet is not ours to conquer, but to share with these beautiful mammals.
So back to our waiting game now. As you saw the name of this episode is The Game of Patience. In 2020, I was in Ranthambhor and we spent 3 days and 6 safaris just looking for the tiger. We tried all different zones but could not find the tiger. We go to one zone, the tiger is seen in another and when we go there, the tiger is seen in another one. So this game continued and my friend called me from the city. He said, "Six safaris and no tiger? Kyun jata hai jungle bar bar?" I didn't respond to him back then, but later wrote these lines. जल का मूल्य प्यास से है इंसान का अस्तित्व आस से है इश्क शब्दों से नहीं एहसास से है और मोहब्बत सिर्फ पाक से नहीं उसकी तलाश से है